Hey, my beautiful beauties, my wonderful people, good afternoon to you. You know, I'm here thinking about what I had read in the, I don't recall if it is the Observer or the Gleaner, where, and I'm only paraphrasing, where the Prime Minister, Andrew Holness, basically was asking or, you know, pleading with the Jamaican people not to give up on the government, you know. Um, <laughs> I smile, I smile, I smile, I smile, because... You know, sir, with all due respect, you know, I've often posted that, you know, it would be remiss of me to not highlight the reality that God says, whomever is put in leadership, whether through his permissive will or perfect will, we must show respect. And I'm not going to be one of those vloggers who disrespect you or anybody in leadership. I endeavor not to, because I have to show respect to you as unto God. You know, whether you're the right leader or not the right leader. But I... I I started really following, in some sense, politics when, you know, your predecessor came in and that was Bruce Golding. And I saw where I felt and I saw where he would have taken Jamaica, you know, make it great for the, and I say first time, I'm sure that the predecessors from even other parties like, you know, Norman Manley, his son, Mike and Manley and so on, and even Mama P you know, wanted great for Jamaica and started things. So I don't want them, you know, people to think that I'm bleeding on one side. It's not about sides, it's about the leader. And uh, I saw where he wanted Jamaica to be great. And uh, I'm sure that he would have given advice after he demitted office to you. I'm not sure if it was taken kindly or it was, um, you were receptive to whatever advice. And I can't help to think about Proverbs 3 when Solomon said, son, he to wise counsel that will make you live a long life a healthy life and a blessed life be mindful that whatever wealth you gain outside of god you will never have peace sir so if you want the jamaican people to give you a chance and when i say you i'm talking about the government and i'm not a, a, a line door a, a, to any side i'm for the mp that works and does his or her job well if you want that, you know one of the biggest ways to start to get crime and violence down, and you know that. And two, public sector workers predominantly, their salaries are treacherous. It is poor. Mine is. It's not good, sir. You guys have garnered and gained a lot. Allow the monies to circulate fairly and justly now. Let us get good salaries, good remuneration, benefits, and so on. As public sector workers and other areas need to be fixed, education, and so on. So you can't just be pleading and asking us. Do what you know needs to be done. Guys, follow me on TikTok, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and share this message.